In this video, we will be looking at a very important property of real numbers. We will be looking at the square of a real number. Now, square of modulus or absolute value of a real number is equal to the square of, uh, uh, you know, the same real number as in not the absolute value, okay. Now, in case I start with a 0, say, you know, if, if a is nothing but it equals to 0, then it's pretty obvious, right? Because square of 0 will be 0, so my LHS will equal to RHS in any case, okay? Now, what happens if A is greater than 0? If A is greater than 0, your modulus A will be nothing but, we know the absolute value will be positive A, right? So, that would imply that my square of this absolute value will be square of the original real number, okay? Now, what happens if A is less than 0? Say A is less than 0. Then, absolute value of A will equal to minus A. Hence, making the value of A positive. Now, so this will imply, so what will happen is that this will imply that if I try to square the absolute value of A, it will give me the square of minus A, right? Because of this fact. Now, this equals to minus A getting multiplied by minus a the product of minus a minus a right wherein minus a minus 1 which is I can break it I can again break it into minus a getting multiplied with a and then sorry minus 1 getting multiplied with a minus 1 getting multiplied with a okay so the product of these four things okay and what will that give me Again, due to associativity of real numbers, I can write minus 1 to the power 2 into a a. So, this is nothing but 1 into a square, which is a square. So, again, what is happening is that my LHS equals to RHS and hence we have proved it for all the three scenarios. Uh, we could have had three scenarios herein. So, one being if what happens if the real number that we are talking about is 0, then what happens if it's greater than 0 and what happens if it's less than 0. So, I will get the same result in each, okay. And that's what this property is finally telling us. It is finally telling us that absolute value square is equal to the original square a square for all real numbers this holds for all real number and that is why um, we have taken all the possible cases 